Hi guys, just arrived this beautiful mineral grey BMW M4 with the competition pack. It doesn't get much better. We're now walking into sort of a nice sunny days. It's a convertible but it's a hard top. The competition pack gives you the upgraded wheels. It's just the overall look of this vehicle, the 450 horsepower, the black grills, the bumpers, the daytime running lights, which are also LED. Obviously you have the flagship, what you call M mirrors with the LED indicators in there. And all the badging and styling is done in black. Little things for me which make a difference. This particular model has what you call satin black alloy wheels with obviously the blue calipers. The car is a fabulous machine with 12,000 miles on. And like I said, with a convertible, you get the best of both worlds. You get the hard top for the cold days and the winter days. And then you have the option just to fold it away and it gives you a nice summer car where you can let the air go through your hair and whatnot. This car has a bundle of extras to start off with. You've got the lovely carbon fibre interior inlays, which is the centre dashboard and the centre console. It is a facelift model, so you've got the new iDrive system, which is touchscreen with a touchpad as well. Obviously DCT, M Sport steering wheel, electric seats, memory seats and heated seats goes without a say. And then you've got the nice fine Napa leather, which is lovely and it's just, it's nice. It's, it's exclusive to say the least. On the door cards here, you'll notice that they have the extended leather, which goes across here with the, the white stitching. And then again, which is an upgrade is the Harman Kardon sound system, which just gives you extra speakers and the tweakers and the door cards. It's better quality of sound. As you come around the back, BMW for years have got what you call the stretched rear light, so it goes around the side of the vehicle, giving it a more wider look from the rear. You've got the quad pipes, but this particular model has had the upgraded carbon fiber rear diffuser with the F1 styling, so you've got the, the slats in between here. You've also got the black tail chrome pipes. Another extra is the reversing camera. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not needed, it's a performance car, but like anything, if you're gonna get one, then get one with a few extras. Now for me, when the hood is up as it is right now, you can see this is quite a, a large boot space for a convertible. But even when the hood is down and folded away, you still get enough space for a, a couple of bags or whatever you're doing, work, laptop, paperwork, even football fit in there and everything else. Now this has soft closed boots, so you don't need to slam the boot if you shoot it from any height. When it clicks, it will naturally fold its way in, so you don't need to slam it if your hands are folded, just drop it. As you walk around to the driver's side, you've got your standard M badges all over the place with the kick plate. And then you've got the sound. So it just sounds beautiful. Now, I'm going to pop the roof back for you. If you can't hear me. It doesn't take long. Falls away, press the button. Like I said, literally 12, 13 seconds later, you've got yourself a nice, performance, convertible, sounds and goes fabulously. That's clever how that works. But what is more clever which I want to show you is this. Follow me. So at this stage, you've got yourself a nice convertible, high performance kind of thing, great. I'm not going to go shopping. And then you then present it with this. You think, bloody yeah. I need to turn the engine on, get the roof back up again, and then get my bags in, and then put the roof back down again so I look cool. Well, in the BMW M4s and the 4 Series convertibles, the, the bottom ring out, which I thought was very clever, and it's, a lot of people don't use it because they don't know what, how it's to be done. If you come around here, have a look at this. You press this button, and if you sort of zoom back now, you'll see what happens. The whole rear end lifts up, the glass lifts up, you then have a bigger area to put your, your shopping in or your bags, whatever you want to do, without having to start the car and actually put the hood up. Press the button, falls back down within seconds. So they have the thought about everything before designing a convertible with a hard top to give everyone the best sort of driving experience. Other things like the air scarf, so if the hood is down, people are scared, oh yeah, I'm gonna get cold. But really, the way these cars are designed, the air is designed to go over your head and behind you, but you have got the air scarf, which will blow out hot air around your neck to keep you nice and warm. 
And then just behind the back seat here, you've got a, a wind deflector tucked away, which you can pull out and equip in to them holes there. Heads up display. I personally would never buy an M vehicle, whether it be an M3, M4, M5, M6, any M car without heads up display. I think a performance car like this deserves heads up display. When you're driving a nice powerful car, may that be on the roads or on the track, the heads up display allows you to use the car at its full capabilities without being distracted and look, look left or right or down below. So the heads up display allows you to look ahead. It displays, displays the speed on, the revs, uh, even navigation, Bluetooth and all other controls just literally as you're looking through the windscreen. For me with 12,000 miles on, it's a cracking car, just arrived, get in touch. Thanks for watching, bye bye.